Hey everyone, Genome here, catch you with a roster review, actually. I've been looking forward to this. I've never done one of these before, and um, just kind of wanted to go over a lot of my mistakes and follies and kind of see where I'm progressing in this game. So if you can see down here, my main account, I am clocking in at 850 days played exactly. So I thought it was a good time to go ahead and take a look around and, well, see what progress is being made. Um, Sad to say, not as much as it should be, but let's go ahead and get into what we got going on. So I guess we'll just start at the top and see what's going right, I guess, in a way. Um, Black Bolt and Thanos, Ebony Maw, three, the trifecta there of extremely powerful characters are well leveled and well equipped, I guess. There's more to be done. Gold shortage, of course, and gear shortage, but uh, so they're progressing nicely, and um, there's all that. Um, and some of these other choices may be a little bit questionable. Of course, Punisher is my favorite character in comics and like him in the game. So I leveled him just out of by default, but it's not saying everyone should. I do believe he's getting some possible use in DD4 though as well. So not an awful character to put resources in, but there's definitely other ones I could have gone in first. Uh, Ghost Rider was kind of a mistake. Uh, I kind of overestimated him a lot. I liked him. I think I even put the fifth red star on him uh, with credits. And then I got him to a high level and realized that I didn't think he's not as good as I thought he was. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I like the character in comics too, so whatever. There's some fanboys in there to be had. Uh, my Black Order is coming along. Uh, let's see, I just separated it out real quick. I have Thanos, so, you know, I'm once again free to play completely, so the farm is slow. And even if we get 100 <coughs> Call Obsidian Shards, it's not going to get me the next star level, but we're working on it. Definitely the weak link there. I am farming Proxima currently. I got the node uh, three starred, so it's just a matter of time. So Blackwater's coming along nicely. It's my main, of course, arena team, and they do pretty well at around 500k. I can punch up usually about 100k on other Black Order or 150-200k on mixed match teams. So, uh, yeah, where else am I? Mr. Sinister is kind of in a holding pattern right now, but obviously a strong character. I definitely need to boost him more. In hindsight, I probably should have hit him at 7 reds instead of Black Bolt. Uh, cause I already had Black Bolt at 5 or 6. I can't remember what it was, and he's working just fine. But I use him so much in raids that I was just kind of thinking of utility. But, you know, Sister's hanging tight. Uh, Loki's one of my biggest mistakes. Uh, not that he's a bad character, it's just that I put a lot of T4s into him, mostly into his basic. I don't know why I was putting it in his basic. That makes no sense. Maybe I got enthralled by the extra chance to evade, making a 50% chance, but it was stupid. If anything, I should have put it into his <laughs> passive, which isn't really needed either, but I don't really use him that much. I did use him quite a bit in my first run in DD2. So there's that, but yeah, another mistake character. I've eased way off on Phoenix, um, loving her, because I just don't really use her that much um, outside of, like, War and Blitz. Every now and then, like, on a mutant node or whatever, I'll use her in, like, a, a Greek raid or something, but it's very rare when I actually use her anymore, so... And she's really good in RTA, by the way, for getting achievements done for, like, lobby characters, so I do use her a lot there, but my actual... <clears throat> At level game stuff I don't really use her that much and I think I probably need to crank her up quite a bit to take her through DD3 DD4 which by the way I'm not into either one eventually I'll get the DD3 I'm not that worried about it but it is what it is you know I, I'm a very casual regular player right I don't probably play this game a more than an hour a day <clears throat> which is enough in my opinion but um, I also have a secondary account <clears throat> that I started a few months ago so you know it, it eats up a lot of time so just get that in mind i don't blitz my mind out um so a lot of things could be better here in the list if i actually ground a little harder <laughs> you're right uh star lord was another mistake uh i did use him basically all through my first two runs of dd2 so he definitely served a purpose it's just that he doesn't need this much gearing and um uh, doesn't need that many red stars because he just didn't get used for anything anymore blitz nothing else um scientist supreme too was a great choice at the time but i really don't use her much anymore but uh, she still sees a little bit of play usually in greek raids or whatever you know the aim team on war offense every now and then so good stuff there but uh symbiotes i'm just now starting work on my symbiotes and i haven't even unlocked any venom yet so it's i'm working on them but it's kind of a mild working on them basically working on the four that i have and when I get AV, I get AV. 
Uh, I used to use Vision all of the time for like a year and a half. I pulled like 100 uh, orbs or shards of him out of a mega orb not too long after I started playing the game. So I just used him forever. He was a a plus tier character god tier character whatever for years but now i don't even bother putting that seventh star on him you know i've had it for quite a while uh, i just don't use him every now and then i'll use him in some greek raid or something like that that's just about it sometimes i'll swap him in on power armor because i don't really have uh what's her name iron heart level whatsoever i have no interest in that team so i'll throw him in there every now and then to kind of round things out but other than that eh. uh, all of course um so you can just kind of see, I'm not going to go through everybody, uh, where I am at. All of my humans are this high just to unlock Ebony Maw, 7 stars, so I don't really use them for anything but more offense. Uh, what else? Been working, of course, on Emma, but it's a slow go. Once again, I don't max the events because I just don't play that much uh, compared to a lot of other people. I've been really hyped on Blob lately. I'd like to get some more... Um, I wish there was more resources to work on him because I think he could be really good at higher gear tier levels. Uh, but, you know, he is where he is right now. But I made a few videos highlighting what I like about him, especially for newer players. <clears throat> Just unlocked Doc Ock the other day. I kind of stopped putting that much into him right now because the rest of Sinister Stick, he's actually higher than the rest of my Sinister Stick. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll be leveling him as a solo player, but I'm going to try to work a little harder on my Symbiotes team right now and focus on them. But so that's where it's at. So basically, the only well, I'll go down to who I haven't unlocked here shortly. Roster is pretty wide, um, so I have quite a few teams, but nothing is super powerful. I mean, my biggest team is Blackwater, which is around 500k or so. I think in, in War they get around like 520 or something like that. But it's mostly on the backs of my high-end Thanos and Ebony Maw. And now we're getting down to what I don't work on. I unlocked Ghost the other day, Baron's Emo the other day. I can't afford to level them. You know, that's what you get as a free-to-play player. Uh, players or characters I have not unlocked yet are, of course, She-Hulk, which I have zero cares about. Anti-Venom, which I do care about, but, you know, I just have to wait. <laughs> I Basically, I think I'm going to get him eventually out of stores because every now and then you see, like, the five or ten shard offers for cores. I just get those. But we'll see if he has another Blitz or something coming around. Red Guardian, I may or may not get him on this pass. Once again, it doesn't matter that much. I, I do kind of want him now, just because of somebody else I'll point out here right above. Uh, Doom is nowhere near for me, and we'll see about Iceman Kitty Pride. Uh, once again, I don't know if I'm going to go that hard for the mutants, just because I got some other things to work on. The reason I kind of want Red Guardian is because I actually pulled um, seven reds out of Yelena, out of a freaking regular red star orb, too. Uh, a few weeks back, so it's like now I'm almost locked into getting skill Terry. Plus, I already have a high Punisher. But once again, I don't know if I'm really going to work on them hard. It's something that seems to be just a war team. I usually don't. You have to be very mindful of your resources when you're free to play. Um, overall, I have dropped about twenty dollars in this game. That was last year, but I will never give any more money to uh, to scopes. That's just my thing, my own personal choice. I, I prefer the challenge of the free to play thing and. And basically, I'm adulting. I have a lot of like regular bills to pay, you know, new roof for the house and all that I gotta pay for. So, dumping money into a game like this does not behoove me much. Maybe if the channel grows up, I will. But, um, so yeah, you gotta be very mindful of your resources as a free to play player. And my first year, I did everything wrong. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to create the channel. I had what alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity is to help out a lot of newer players. People who are just starting a game, who are free to play, or maybe they're working their way into the mid game and are looking for some advice there because most of the content creators out there are more focused on the end game. You know, that's what's popular, I don't blame them. Uh, but there's a few that are out there doing it and I really want to take it from the base level. It's like, who's the best, you know, levels one through 20 and after that, when do you stop leveling a character, that sort of thing. And which ones actually work well for lots of different game modes. So that's important to me. But as you can see, for a guy with as much time in the game as I have, I'm kind of behind uh, the horn, to be honest with you. I should have a lot more stuff going on. And I would say that first year, year and a half that I played the game wrong, just kind of doing it for fun, leveling characters that I wanted to level, not going for anything. I didn't think I had my first legendary talk for a year because I wasn't focusing, you know. <clears throat> It's put me behind. I'm still trying to play catch up to this day, and you can never really catch up too well in this game. It's a slow, gradual, years long process, right? Just to get into respectability, because you start falling behind, uh, it's awful. On my other account, which I started like 
I don't know, two months ago, whatever, I already have Shuri unlocked. When Invisible Woman comes around, I'm gonna have her unlocked. Uh, I'm about halfway to Black Bolt already. Just doing, just being smarter with my currency. Now, granted, when I first started, there wasn't nearly as many good characters to go for. It was a less refined thing. There was no Red Stars to worry about. Uh, the earlier game was much harder because there wasn't as many overpowered characters you can get easily. You know, it is what it is, but <clears throat> it's so important to be smart with your resources. I want to say money, but smart with your resources, right? Because you can be like me and get stuck way behind and have to play catch up. Like for a while there, I was farming pieces for like, I think five legendaries simultaneously. That's so difficult to do. Even if you have the nodes unlocked, it just takes forever and you get behind and then you're hurting your progression because you should already have those characters and you're hurting your current progression because you're trying to get these older characters caught up. Like if in hindsight, I would not have tried as hard for characters like Magneto and Nick Fury because you just don't really use them for anything but war, right? Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly. And so I think if you're going to be using a character or investing in a character for the free-to-play player and new character, they need to have multiple uses, right? Like these top three up here, you can use them in any game mode and they're all pretty equally effective. Thanos and Black Bolt are absolute monsters in raids, at least in like U7-1. You know, that's where we typically raid in my middle of the road alliance, right? Um, and they're just devastating in there, along with Minerva or whatever, is they're just beast modes in those, and everything else is just gravy, right? Uh, of course, in Arena, you know, Thanos or Blackwater is king. Uh, in, in War, you know, you can throw Black Bolt either on his team or as a solo character, he just works well everywhere. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on. Make them multifaceted, multi use. Right now, Ghost Rider is getting used because he's a season character, but other than that, I don't use him in raids very often at all. Maybe as a third string or something like that. Usually, I'll throw a supernatural team to go in there and clean up, clean up some things if I didn't kill a node or whatever, or I just res the original team and go with it. Uh, Punisher is useful in basically every mode in some way, but you don't see him in Arena, of course, but they were talking like low end stuff, right? But everywhere else, you can find some use. I'll throw him on some of the first half of U7 sometimes, just for as a damage dealer, just to move, make things move faster, because you just breeze through those with Thanos and Black Bolt, right? Um, yeah, so basically, I am just want to let people know that uh, be very mindful of your resource allocation and management. Have a plan and go for it. Like, that's my, when I talk about my other <clears throat> um, account, it is razor focused. You know, here are the legendaries I'm going for. Here are the characters I'm going for. Here are the nodes I'm going for. Here's what I waste time on. Here's what I don't waste time on. Like, uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm a proponent of not getting Magneto to like last. There's like not much point in getting him, right? Are you kidding? Same with Nick Fury, Star Lord, and all those. A lot of, of channels will say to go for those first. I'm like, just focus in on Invisible Woman and Shuri first, with Black Bolt picking up as you can. Focus on three that are gonna get you through to more important things and they'll help you so much, especially through the mid game, much more than characters like the aforementioned three would. So yeah, be smart with resources and don't make the same mistakes I did. Here's, I'll show you my greatest shame. Example. Right, is right here, Ant-Man and Wasp. Actually, you know, let's just do it like this. Pimtech. I haven't really been working on that much to you either. But Ant-Man and Wasp, wow, what a mistake. I made a video about a month or two ago that says about bad synergy trap characters, and here they are. They have synergy with each other. You would think it's good, but it's not that good. And I just used them on a tech team for Arena and, and other things for like a year and a half with like Crossbones and Vision and Punisher. It was just a weird hodgepodge team and I invested way too much character or resource in these characters when they weren't any good. I took Ant-Man all the way through um, DD2. But once again, I wasn't watching content creators. I wasn't researching and stuff. I just went with my gut. It's like, ah, oh, this is fine. Ant-Man has a cool kid. He's a good controller, right? He works fine. He's tech. And he's awful. He's awful character. And Wasp is even worse if you ask me. She is, even with a rework, she's worse. So it's like, don't make those same mistakes that I did. Watch some videos. I mean, now play how you want to play. That's also important. Play what's fun to you, because why not? I mean, if you're playing this game for work or whatever, that's something. But I mean, it's like, just have fun with it. So if you like a certain character, like I like Punisher, feel free to dump resources in it. But I mean, if you are all about progression in this game, you've got to be smarter than that. 
And boy, was I not smart. Anyway. <laughs> Why do I seek your counsel? I am somewhat vindicated now because eventually I'll get my pin tech up there and I'll be able to, you know, um, unlock Jubilee. It's going to be any good at higher starts because I already got these guys worked on. And maybe I'll get some use out of them in some dark dimensions later on, but yeah so don't don't be like me <laughs> that's my only advice but yeah that's 850 days in and um i'm just getting caught back up basically i'm on top of the middle game now and i'm gonna start easing my way into the end game as it is once again you're a free-to-play player just be used to not being able to do things it's just gonna take a long time you're not gonna get legendaries almost as surely on their first release unless you just grind until your eyeballs bleed and you're not going to be doing all the most current content right away. Get used to it. Um, games like this make it much easier for those who pay to do those things. Hey, give them the bragging rights. They're the ones funding the game, so I don't blame them a bit. There it is. Uh, feel free to make fun of my uh, roster in the comments below. It definitely is worthy of such. Beat the devil out of it and go about your business. And uh, yeah, until the next one. I'll be doing one of these on my other account here too shortly because I think I'm around 75 days or 80 days over there. So it's something to talk about. So until next time, this is Genome looking at his roster with shame. Out. To be continued. Hey y'all, quick addendum. I shot this entire video, then I realized that I had forgotten to actually get some footage of the TCP. So uh, ignore this arena team over here right now. I'm just using them because of the season uh, characters event for Red Guardian. So it's not, not, usually it's just Black Order sitting in there. But yeah, right now, so my TCP is actually just over 5 million. I hadn't checked it in a while. So there we go. Yeah, 577 there, you know, warm P a few times. I was in a weaker alliance though, so. Uh, yeah, uh, it really pains me to lose all my arena rank right now because <laughs> I really had to push it, you know, to get that high. And it's funny because nothing holds. So, like, I go to bed and it's 46 and I wake up and I'm at, like, 170. <laughs> it's like, so you got to do all that grinding again. Then you got to spend cores just to get sub-50 again. It's just such a pain. But, yeah, so I'm having to, I'm to make up a lot of uh, arena ranks using this team right now. But uh, it is what it is. But, yeah, so right now TCP, about a little over 5 million. Uh, at 850 days played and twenty dollars spent in the game total which was over a year ago so there it is all right